all right so today guys i'm gonna test the phantom c1 and i'm gonna do the speed test uh, the same way as i did previous bike dyu the v1 so this one i'll do the first time the speed test official speed test for phantom c1 and this bike actually it's a scooter because there's no pedal i will do one test and then i'll do the right and you guys see the difference actually it's a um, going to the same same path as i usually test all the bikes i'm gonna make the seat a little bit low because it feels really uncomfortable to sit high and to have your bar low opposite to the other bikes like v1 actually really cool it's the bar is high the seat is low so it feels really good with this one you have to put your seat down but this one have no pedals okay let's go and the sounds will be recorded on the gopro i guess i need to use um, the street because today we have a lot of uh, gardeners but again let's see how fast it can go it shouldn't affect the speed actually it's better because it's much faster so it should be on the street and the bike is fully charged so the bike uh, the scooter action i'm forget that it's a scooter not a bike some people have called it bike but there's no pedals with a scooter it feels a little bit slow to me maybe because i sit this way but <clears throat> let's see <clears throat> Uh, I will check speed later. Okay, so I will check the speed once uh, I do both way. It feels like uh, 14 miles. So if you see 12, it means 14 because anytime it the GPS about two to point three to two three miles behind usual two miles behind and today is a um, trash day so we have all the trash outside maybe Okay, so looks like the speed recorded and um, I made this Let's see. and I'm gonna go for right now looks like the speed recorded I didn't check how fast and I'll go for right and then I'll do the video editing so I'm going a little bit different route now I need to go to my daughter's school to get us uh, uh, to give them some tests she did because she has a uh, interesting stuff she need to give the test back because she have a zoom and then they do like some test over zoom but i have to take this uh, physical papers inside the school so it's kind of cool to ride i don't want to ride cars there. it's very close about less than two miles so, and at the same time i can record this video so you guys can see the ride and um, our neighborhood it's a little bit a uh, different site should be a beautiful day today it's sunny and um, i will ride on sidewalk most of the time 
as much as possible. And this one is downhill a little bit, right? So it should be much faster than usual. But probably I'll take a street. This scooter does not have a um, cruise control, no pedal assist because it's not pedal. So it's basically anytime you want to scoot, you have to throttle. Uh, other bikes have a uh, cruise control or pedal assist, so it's much better. Again, this one is good for the beach cruising because this one make out of aluminum will not get rust. It's fun to ride. You can I have my kids usually ride standing on this scooter while I'm riding. Okay, stop sign. Have to stop. There's no car. Go. Again, um, all the schools are, are empty in Los Angeles, California, because it's not still still um, in development to get the kids back to school. Unless it's private school, they already back to school uh, physically. So um, maybe next year they will go back to school. Okay, uh, stop sign, but I don't see any car. And It's a little bit slow compared to V1, I feel like, or even Jetson Bolt Pro much faster. And the seat is not comfortable on this bike at all. So it's a least comfortable seat, I think. Um, if I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this bike because this bike have some issues, like a charging issue. I noticed they replaced the charger, but the charger is still getting hot even the new one but it's okay as long as it does not get on fire and then another issue i noticed and it's probably because of battery um, it takes a few seconds for bike to throw it if i stop right right and then i stop so if I ride a bicycle <coughs> and then I stop, it takes few seconds before it will kick in again. So there's some issue between battery and motor, I guess. Some model. <coughs> okay. And uh, it does not go well to the hills at all. So if you live in some area where hills, <coughs> Sorry. Um, this is not the bike you want, uh, not the scooter you want to buy because it does not go to the hill well at all. It's very weak. I think it's motor says 350, but I feel it's uh, much less or maybe it's just a model. I'm not sure. It does not go in full power for sure. The Jason Bolt, older model or new model or V1, the one I got. All of them feels much more power than this one. Not sure why. So um, I never opened this bike. Cannot uh, tell that, but it's probably the model they haven't built in, or I'm not sure, like the battery or something component of this bike does not give uh, much power when it takes you to the hill. I know I'm heavy. I over about 210 pounds, most likely right now but this bike can pull like 300 but the speed will go a little bit less and then the distance will go less okay. and this uh, street does not even have a sidewalks so you have to ride 
on it's all the buildings they didn't think people will walk around so they never built the sidewalk here and i will turn off a uh, camera later for privacy concern let me see So it's recording, yes it's recording and this one is a nice nice area we have it's very clean and beautiful so this is kind of I like this area LA I, or the flies get to my mouth that's why it's very good to wear glasses always wear like sport glasses or protective glasses because a uh, fly can get in your eyes easily and don't talk like me on while you're riding because it will get to your mouth as well. the flies or oh, bee okay i got a uh, bee hit my forehead i see oh no my eye the other last time and i have and i fall from the bike because it's not only hit my it's a, actually it's a sting me so I sting my face and we fall because I was riding with my boy on the bike it was uh, just on ball pro and we fall luckily I were able to stop but we still managed to fall a little bit another river going to Los Angeles this way okay I'm gonna turn off the camera right now and then turn on again all right so let's now I'm going back, so I dropped some tests at school for my daughter and I'll ride back. So ride back will be a little bit challenging because it's going a little bit up to the hill and this scooter is not a perfect for riding up to the hill. It's actually, I think it's not a big hill so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. just need to pass the intersection since there is no pedal and uh, there is some delay from throw it's kind of what I don't like about the scooter it's have delay okay. oops doesn't go through <laughs> okay And um, I'll stop here to give you some tour of this uh, scooter. I like this area, it's very beautiful here. So, this scooter, as you can see, no pedal. It did come with a bath kit. It cost me like three, $400, but now it's on sale for 350 on Casca. Maybe other areas as well. Two brakes and uh, lights adjustable, moving with the, so it's good. Foldable fork uncomfortable seat 12 inch wheels and then uh, you have key over here an indication of the battery life right now it's already three bar and i rode under about 1.7 mile i rode on this bike down the hill uh, last time i rode the v1 the bike the previous ride test i did i rode about uh four miles i believe oh no not four miles about three miles maybe and there was about three bars left so the bike keep uh, holds the battery pretty well this one it's um okay i guess it's not but this one is a cheaper bike so this is a little bit uh, up to the hill but it's not really up to hill if you live in san francisco you would laugh probably because it's not really a hill it's just a little bit going north i guess and it's a little bit up but not a lot some bumps 
speed bumps we got here but this nice area we have celebrity live sometimes somewhere I live around here so let's see people have tennis court nice so it's uh, all the houses they have a bigger properties my house is a new less property and you don't really need big backyard if you don't use it so it's kind of pointless to have huge backyard you need a lot of maintenance and then if you don't use that's waste of money on the property tax we have a lot of property tax over here in california 1.25 percent i believe we pay property tax of the value of the house so bigger backyard the more expensive house and it's like a lot of money to pay So it was actually not bad running um, this um, way. I'm gonna try to get here. Another thing I don't like when you don't have pedals, you cannot really speed up if you want to, unless you motor over here slow down and um, but it's fun to ride this scooter don't take me wrong this a uh, fun scooter to ride there's no exercise but um, the seat is not really comfortable but it's, it's okay it's not the bad but and as you can see it can get pretty fast like 14 miles i believe it's going up to 40 miles so it's, this bike actually going up to 60 miles so 14 plus 2 it can go faster i'm not sure if it can go faster but i would i will not mess with this bike because uh, i feel like um, the throat itself sometimes um, if I just turn it, like break it, I need to ride again. It takes some few seconds to start the like to kick in. So that's what I don't like. I already told you, and that's what another reason I might just return back to Costco because it's not. Um, I think there's some issue with this bike. It's my second bike they replaced first one because it had some problem with this bike also looks like uh, having a little bit issue not the big but i have uh, already four bikes and i don't think i need that many and this one was i think this bike have some issue i might just take it back to Costco. i don't want to deal with this issue so it might be my last ride on this bike and um the charge um, it does not really hold well looks like it's two bars right now another problem and there's another problem that i cannot put it in my car because i, I need to remove this basket and it's very hard to remove you have to unscrew every all the screws in order just to remove it, it takes forever so um, it would be nice if the basket was beyond clips that's a kind of uh, really would be nice to have it on clip so you can unclip the basket but um, this bicycle is beautiful I like the color very bright right it's okay it's actually a very nice ride on this bike scooters the tires is 12 inch so it's a small tire but it's very decent for this price 350 right now on sale I think really nice I like this part because it's going this way so if you hit it you will not get this big scar like with other bikes usually and this one have also the bell but it's manual and I'll ride this um, way because um, the 
sidewalk over here it's not maintained and it's not good over there so i would rather ride this way look on this guy it's about 75 or 80 degree the guy wear a coat probably cold i'm in a t-shirt and it's hot so i'll go for more rides so just to show you around because I don't feel like I ride enough and I have almost two bar when I do stroll it's only one now so this bike probably ride five miles and will be dead on one charge with 200 pounds on it so again it's a beautiful bike if you live by the ocean you need to go to the store very convenient if you need a good mileage on the bike then uh, and also if you want compact to put in your car then i would not recommend this bike uh, it would be kind of no convenience because you cannot put really in a car i have a big car but still the basket it's making too long to put in so by removing the basket you lose all the point to paying 350 because the basket actually costs about 20 to 40 bucks that's why you get this bike scooter so if you don't need the basket so you, i would recommend to get this pedal but again if you want to ride with a kid and they can stand on it it's good if you don't need the pedals just simple ride then i think it's the best deal you can find for 350 perfect and i i am not paid by phantom they are not promote anything so i just purchased from casca but i might still return it because i think to return this bike because there's fear issue i mentioned and i don't want to deal with this uh, they have a good customer service they replace it very well if they need issue but i just don't want i feel like it's gonna come back against them they i think they made them beautiful but the bike itself does not have a good uh, component like uh, module a motor and battery together i think not uh, well programmed so maybe that's why I forgot I need to go to the park. I'm gonna go back to the park. So you probably see the on the screen if my uh, speed recording is working right now, I'll put it on the screen, GPS speed, so two miles behind usually, and you'll see how fast this bike went. Sometimes it can kick in speed higher, but actually it's uh, just gps issue but uh, on average i think this bike going to up to 15 miles 15 and a half something whatever it said so it does go whatever it says on the paper so i need to go back here to see my kids might be here looks like they are yeah. and then i might take my boy go chase this uh, trucks he loves to chase this uh, trash truck garbage trucks i have uh, some videos from last year i need we chase some trucks you can check the folder the playlist mm -hmm. oh, nice they move the homeless out of okay. i don't see them so i guess they went back home okay so looks like i'm going back um i appreciate you guys for watching this video i'm not sure if anyone watched until the end but in case if not i'll see you in the next video don't forget to hit subscribe button below like this video for algorithm it helps to get uh, this video up so other people can see it and if you have any question about this bike post below if you have any issue post below I just wonder if uh, other people have the same issue or not the same issue with this bike. 
because sometimes now it's okay but sometimes it just does not really throw it for like two seconds or so but other than that it's a beautiful nice bike and if you live by the beach it's a great to get san francisco it's not because of hills but if you need flat surface riding this one is good because this one is aluminum made so it will not rust the brakes are great stopped really good there's no complaint about brakes anyways thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next video and next video will be get some bolts pro the speed test compare to the other hack and stuff see you next time